All right, due to a couple requests, I'm going to make a quick video on this editor. Uh, so the first thing you want to do, obviously, get your save file, hook it, and there we go. So I'm only going to cover the coordinates, and I'm only going to cover uh, the tools here. So these are import and export tools. So, for example, I have an inventory here, and I have a regenerator-only section here for chapters one through two and the slot tools what the slot does is I can export this slot for slot one and that's all of the data so I'm gonna do that real quick and I'm gonna show you so we're just gonna put it on the desktop and there we go we have slot one so if I go to slot two or let's do slot three and I import this data and we find slot one this is a replica of my slot one everything every byte of data is saved here including the NPC table as you can see all these are Iron Maidens as well as my inventory and the same thing is also true with NPC and inventory. The same thing still applies. So if I want to copy this inventory, I can use the inventory tool and export this to a desktop or even a save file or a folder on your desktop. And that way you constantly have this inventory. So that's kind of an explanation of the tools. Uh, now coordinates. So when you are wanting to change a room, so let's say you want to start at the beginning, the first thing you need to do is make sure this is blank. And then you select the chapter. So let's do uh, let's do jet ski ending. Okay. And boom. So when you when you load the save file and you slam it into your quest and you load it, this will instantly put you at the very end of the game. You'll load the save and you'll go through the uh, the jet ski and you'll be able to create a new game plus slot with this loadout so what I use a jet ski for is if I'm doing a merchant tune-up save so if I just want uh, a max firing speed tune-up I'll replace the data and now every single weapon has max firing speeds no manipulation of damage or ammo except for the blacktail blacktail is always 13 actually in this case it isn't in this case, the black tail is number seven, which is the exclusives. So that's usually what I use jet ski for, for that purpose. Uh, also, if I want a specific loadout for like speed running, I will change my inventory to speed run legal things. Like uh, I want five flashes. So let me find the flashes here. Flash grenades. Okay. And FF is 255. We want one. And yeah, that's that's what I'll do. And then a one. A one. And what I'm doing here is I'm selecting it, pressing down arrow, pressing up arrow, highlighting FF, creating an O1. And that's one, two, three, four. That's five flashes that I just stacked. So that when I load this save up, I just got to go to these coordinates and place the flashes next to each other, and that's that. Um, but majority of the time when I am using this, I am going to slot five, which is empty. I'll import, no, sorry, I'll export this and slot 5. Now go back to slot 3. Yeah, if you're too quick it kind of lags. And I'm going to import slot 5. And now it's blank. You can also use this as a resigner. So a checksum resigner. So if I want to manually modify 
my save data. We're going to go to the inventory, which is 7C001. This is slot 1's inventory. You do it again. This is slot 2. Slot 3 doesn't exist. So the next thing is the new game pluses. You can't modify these. You can't modify new game plus saves. Mostly because uh, their data for the inventory is completely different. It doesn't align with the offsets to regular slot data. But anyway, we're going to use this as an example. I'm going to use my old list here. And I am going to add in handgun ammo. This is 04 for handgun ammo. And then uh, 65535 amount, which is FF. And then here's the coordinates. And I will slap this in to now replace the typewriter, which is 34. And there we go. I just replaced the typewriter with handgun ammo. I did it manually. So we'll load up the save. Because we just did a manual edit. And we'll check it. And yep, there it is. Handgun ammo, FF. And then we save it, and boom. The save is checksummed. And now this handgun ammo is in my save. But yeah, that's just a, a rough tutorial I have. Um, as you can see, I have uh, minus nine, 9 million pesetas. Um, this is my regenerator run that I was doing. <clears throat> I didn't want to be a bitch and buy a PRL. So I gave myself a negative amount, which is kind of redundant because I can just come in here and change it. But yeah. That's a, that's a very basic guide.